Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make cross references in Microsoft Word. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is just select the references tab. If you hover over cross reference, it says refer to specific places in your document, such as headings, figures, or tables. A cross-reference is a hyperlink where the label is automatically generated. It is great if you want to include the name of the thing you are referencing. So if you go ahead and select cross-reference here, you go ahead and where it says insert as hyperlink, make sure it's checkmarked. Reference item, you can see in our case in our document, they're all numbered here. So if you click on the drop-down, you, you can reference different items from tables, figures, equations, bookmarks, that sort of thing. And it says insert reference to, and then click the drop-down. And you can select the page number, paragraph number, for example, uh, paragraph text, no context, full context, that sort of thing. So once you made your selection, go ahead and select insert. And you see that we are referencing the first item in the list here. And if you want to reference, let's say, the fifth item, go ahead and select insert. You can see that we're inserting the reference up here as a page number. But you are welcome to select the paragraph number or the other options like I discussed previously. So once you've clicked out of there, you can actually see if you hover over these numbers, it actually will allow you to follow the link. So if you tap control and click, it'll direct you to the page in our case. So these are actual hyperlinks up here and you may want to consider changing the font size to make them stand out a little bit more. So pretty straightforward process guys. I do advise I will help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.